the scale of Aadhaar is massive. And it's only been a country like India, which has been successful in getting these 1.2 billion people and their databases. Now, this was only step one. Now, what came out from 1.2 billion people and their identities is an autom automated API-driven mechanism through which you can, as a service provider, as an individual, probe whether somebody is genuinely who he's saying he is. In other words, what that simply means is that you might be a bank, you might be a teleco provider, you might be a any kind of a service provider. When somebody comes to you as a customer, the first thing you want to know is whether the person is really who he's saying he is. And that was the fundamental concept of KYC, know your customer. And remember, I'm pretty sure, and this was a very interesting survey that was done uh, by one of the publications in India, which says on an average, in Indian does at least 60 to 70 KYCs that he gives every five years. You're talking about eliminating all of that and eliminating the fraud and the deduplications of individuals by simply going to a kiosk, giving your fingerprint and your Aadhaar number, and boom, you are actually verified out there. There is no question of you frauding things. And if you ever think of it, the number of fake calls that you get, the fraud calls that you get, the number of times where people try to du dupe you by take saying that oh can you please transfer money from this account to that account because i'm i'm you won a lottery etc etc the only reason they can do that today is because they've got a sim card through which they're calling which is not linked to a genuine identity and so difficult to trace them. They know that when you transfer money from your account to somebody else's account, that is again bought in by somebody's identity which is not genuine and it is so easy to do that in India. Aadhaar eliminates that in totality. The way that works and the good part is because it's technology enabled, there is no Babu sitting out there who you need to go ahead and please first to be able to get an access to the entire thing. When I say entire thing, doesn't mean that you get an access to the database. It's only API driven, means you send the parameters and Aadhaar says yes or no. So you as Airtel, where somebody's come to take a SIM card from you, simply send the fingerprint and the Aadhaar number to somebody which is, which which is, you know, which is which, uh, to, to, to UIDAI, which maintains Aadhaar, and they simply revert by saying, yes, this fingerprint belongs to this Aadhaar number. That's all that UIDAI does. There is no question of a privacy breach. There's no question of a, of, of a challenge of being providing all your details to this. And a lot of nonsensical news which comes out saying, oh, the government wants to see your phone records. The government wants to you know, see your bank you know, transactions, etc., etc. You know, most people don't realize if the government today wants to see it, they can still see it with or without Aadhaar. But Aadhaar by no means enables people to do that.